Viruses, and there are many different kinds of them, can be scattered with each particle of saliva and mucus. When one sneezes or coughs, for instance, but do not think for a moment that cold-producing viruses are spread only by sneezing and coughing. If by some magic, the tiny particles of saliva and mucus could be made visible as a black smudge, we quickly would realize in how many other ways we are apt to scatter bacteria and viruses all around us. For instance, <coughs> Jane here has a cold. <coughs> Look at that smudge. Look at those germs she leaves on the doorknob. And here's Bob's hand picking them up. Bob, his hand now covered with germs picked up from that doorknob, transfers them to a book. Sue, having the bad habit of wetting her finger to turn pages, carries the germs from the book to her mouth and then passes them along with a pencil to Anne. Anne carries them home and leaves them on the family's dinner table. Yes, even during an ordinary conversation, saliva and mucus particles escape our mouth and easily reach others who inhale them as they breathe. Just remember how breath becomes visible on a cold day. How then, with so many germs surrounding us, can we avoid having colds all the time? Protect yourself against infection. Keep pencils and other things out of your mouth. Never take bites of other people's food. Do not use somebody else's drinking straw or glass, not even within your own family. In the bathroom, for instance, use only your glass. And wash your hands frequently and thoroughly, especially before eating. When you wash your hands, you wash away many of the disease-carrying smudges you may have picked up. But if in spite of all these precautions, you still come down with a cold, let us repeat, take it to bed and stay there until it has run its course. This is the safest way to regain your health and to return as quickly as possible to work, to fun, and to play.